In this tutorial, we'll look at how to receive purchase orders. Receiving a purchase order will update and increase the inventory without the need for manual adjustments. Purchase orders can be received either via the Seller Cloud website or via ReceiveBridge. To receive a purchase order in Seller Cloud, click Receive Shipment on the Action menu or click the Receive Shipment link on the purchase order to open the Receive Shipment page. On the grid, you'll see the product ID and the quantity ordered. Enter the quantity to receive and select a receiving warehouse. Each SKU has its own warehouse selection menu, so you can receive each item into its designated warehouse. Now click Save Receiving. The inventory count will immediately update to reflect the received shipment. If you ordered a SKU with a quantity of 50, for example, and you want to receive 25 in one warehouse and 25 in another, do a partial receiving by entering 25 here and selecting a warehouse and then saving the receiving. Now, enter the remaining 25 and select another warehouse. Save the receiving again and the received quantities will appear in their respective warehouses. Each receiving session will be tracked by the user who received it. To receive a purchase order without having to confirm the items in the shipment by entering the receiving values, click Receive Whole PO on the Action menu. On the following page, click the Receive Whole PO button. You can also receive shipments in bulk with a file upload. Select a file type and download the template. Enter the product ID and receiving quantities into the columns. Now save the file and select it by clicking on the Choose File button. Select the file type and click Upload Receiving. To receive a purchase order in ReceiveBridge, select the purchase order in the grid and click Scan Purchase Order. A grid will open with all of the items in that purchase order. The grid is color-coded so that the unreceived items are colored orange. Now scan each item's UPC or enter the SKU. Alternatively, you can scan one item of each SKU and enter that SKU's receiving quantity. Click Mark as Received. You can also enable ReceiveBridge to automatically mark a scanned item as received. Open the menu and click Options. Now open the General tab and enable this option. Marking an item as received will cause it to populate in the To Be Received column, but your inventory will not yet update to reflect the received item until you click Save Received Data. Just as in Seller Cloud, ReceiveBridge has a separate warehouse selection for each SKU so that you can receive items into different warehouses. However, you can configure ReceiveBridge to restrict receiving to a specific warehouse based on the location of the user who is receiving the shipment. Locations can be configured in Seller Cloud by opening the Settings tab and clicking on Locations. Click Add New Location. Give the location a name and select a warehouse to be associated with this location. Now go back to ReceiveBridge. Open the menu and select Options. Click on the General tab. Now, from this drop-down, select the location to which the user will be associated. Receiving a purchase order in ReceiveBridge, whether partially or fully, will update the status of the purchase order in Seller Cloud. The purchase order can be accessed in ReceiveBridge by clicking on the purchase order number in the grid. To edit the receiving or undo it totally, open the Receive Shipment page of a purchase order. Open the Action menu and click Edit Receiving. Now enter a new quantity into this box here and click Update. If you are changing the status to Not Received, enter a zero and click Update. The status of the purchase order will revert to Not Received. By default, you will not be able to receive quantities that are higher than what was ordered. To allow over-receiving, open the client settings and enable the Allow to Over-Receive Purchase Order setting. For more information on tracking and receiving purchase orders, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.